Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to assemble, set up and take a measurement on the IC860031 benchtop pH meter. To get started you will need to assemble the meter. To do this install the electrode arm onto the electrode base. This simply clicks into place. Plug the device in using the included power supply. Then select whether or not you would like the electrode arm on the left or right side of the meter. Then place the meter over the matching knob on the electrode arm. Plug the BNC connector and temperature jack into the back of the unit. and install the electrode onto the holder. The excess cable can be thread through the two notches on the arm to keep the cables neat. Press the power set key to switch on the meter. The device will switch on and be in measurement mode. On the main measurement mode screen, you can see the measurement mode, the current measurement, the current temperature, ATC indicates that the meter is in automatic temperature compensation mode. Ready indicates that the reading is stable. This is the total number of readings that are saved in the device memory. In this case, it's zero. And below this is the date and the time. The device settings mode allows you to customize the meter preferences and defaults. To enter into settings, press and hold the set key for two seconds first option is memory transmission. This setting allows you to transfer stored data from the meter to a computer. To do this you will need to connect an RS-232 or USB cable to the back of the meter, then connect the other end of the cable with a D sub connector in your computer serial port and run the software from the CD included with this unit. Once you have done all this press enter and out will flash on the device's LCD indicating that the memory is transferring. Once complete the LCD will return to TR. Then use the up selection key to move on to the next settings option. CLR and P2.0 will appear on the LCD. This is the clear memory function. To clear the device's memory, ensure that you are in the measurement parameter you wish to clear. To check, press escape to exit the menu and return to measurement mode. As you can see, we're in pH measurement mode. If you wish to clear the memory for any other parameter, press mode to cycle through the options. Then return to the clear memory function by pressing and holding set for two seconds and pressing the up selection one time. To enter the clear memory function, press enter. No will flash on the LCD. To clear the memory, press the up selection arrow until yes appears, then press enter. The memory will be cleared. Press the up selector key to move on to the third settings option. This is view slope and offset. ELE and P3.0 appear on the LCD. You can scroll through four available slope values. The top display shows the value and the bottom display shows the solution range. If any of the values for P3.1 to P3.4 are less than 75% or above 115%, you will need to replace the electrode. Note the solution range will differ between NIST and custom buffers. After pressing enter a fifth time, the offset value will display. The offset value is the millivolt value of pH 7. This value will be different after calibration. If the range is outside of plus or minus 60 millivolts, replace the probe. Pressing the enter button a sixth time returns to the start of the electrode view slope and offset setting. Press the up selector key to move on to the fourth setting option. This is BUF P4.0. The meter allows you to select between two different groups of pH buffers. There's NIST, this is automatic buffer recognition points. 1.68, 4.01, 6.86, 9.18, and 12.45. And custom. This group has five different ranges of pH buffers. These are pH 1 to 3, 3.5 to 5.5, 6 to 8, 8.5 to 10.5, and 11.5 to 13.5. As some of the calibration set points in the NIST group are less common in Australia, customers often pick custom buffer selection. To watch a scientist demonstrate how to perform a calibration using the custom buffer selection ranges, see the video linked above or in the video description.
To adjust this, press Enter. The current selection blinks on the LCD. Use the up and down arrows to adjust the blinking unit. Press Enter to make your selection. Then use the up selection key to move on to the next settings option. P6.0 is the setting to switch on or off the ready icon. This icon indicates when your measured reading is stable. To adjust this, press Enter. The current selection blinks on the LCD. Use the arrow keys to switch between yes, which is on, or no, which is off. Press Enter to confirm your selection. Press the up selector key to move on to the seventh option. This is unit. Press Enter to change the temperature unit display. Then use the arrow keys to choose between Celsius or Fahrenheit. When your desired unit is on the LCD, press Enter to confirm. Then use the up selection key to move on to the next settings option. Is time and date selection. Press Enter to adjust the time and date. The unit to be modified will blink on the display. Use the up and down arrows to adjust the blinking unit, then Enter to move on to the next option. You can adjust the year, month, day, hour, minute, and the second. After pressing Enter on the adjustment of seconds, the screen will return to the start of the date and time selection setup. You can then press the up selector key to move on to the next and final option. This is device reset. Performing this will reset the meter to factory default settings. Note this is not memory data logger reset, so data memory will not be reset after this procedure. Press enter to select the reset mode. No will blink on the LCD. If you wish to reset the device, use the up arrow to navigate to yes, then press enter to confirm. If you do not wish to reset the device, press enter when no is displayed. Pressing up a final time cycles you back to the start of the setup menu. If you're happy with your settings selection, exit the setup menu by pressing escape. The device will return to measurement mode with all your settings saved. Once your meter is assembled and set up, taking a measurement is easy. Remove the storage cap from the electrode. To do this, rotate the bottom of the storage cap to remove the bottle from the probe. then remove the cover. Rinse the electrode in deionized or distilled water. Then immerse the probe tip completely into your sample to be measured. Ensure that ATC is on the bottom of the LCD. This indicates that the automatic temperature compensation probe is connected and working correctly. At any time during a measurement, press the hold icon to freeze the pH reading on the LCD. Hold and the measurement will remain. To exit hold mode and resume live measuring mode, press hold a second time. When ready appears on the LCD, your measurement is stable and can be recorded. The device is also capable of storing up to 99 time and date stamped records. These are saved even if the device is switched off. Within either measurement or hold mode, press the memo key to save a reading to the device memory. The memory number and measured value will flash on the display before returning to normal mode. To recall saved values, press the REC button for 2 seconds to enter into recall mode. REC will blink on the display. Use the up and down arrows to move through each of the saved readings. For each reading, you'll see the stored memory number, the pH measurement and the temperature, along with the time and date these measurements occurred. To exit memory recall mode, press REC. You can also view minimum and maximum recorded data from the memory. To view minimum and maximum records, navigate to the recall mode again by pressing and holding REC for two seconds. Then press the min max key one time to view the minimum recorded value. Press the min max button a second time to view the maximum recorded value. To exit memory recall mode, press the REC button again for two seconds. If you need to clear the data memory, return to the settings menu P2.0. And that's how to assemble, set up, and take a measurement on the IC860031 benchtop pH meter. For a demonstration on how to perform calibration using the custom buffers, see the video linked below. Or for more information on the IC860031, speak with an instrument choice scientist. 
call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.